ye as well as ha. I've got 11 questions for you on horses because we're going to be horsing around. This is Trivia with Buds. Be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. This show comes out every single day, and I'm your host, Ryan Buds. You can check out more about me by going to my website, triviawithbuds.com. It is linked in the show notes if you want to click on your device and just go right to the website to see all the cool stuff I have going on, including a big Disney Marvel Star Wars show on Sunday, July 7th in Chattanooga, Tennessee at a venue called the South Side Social. If you live anywhere down that area, come and check out this amazing trivia night. We did it the same weekend last summer, and we had 86 players, so I'm looking to have at least that many, if not maybe like 100. So that would be tons of fun if you live around the Chattanooga, Tennessee area. We get people to listen to this show from all over the world, from my friend Luke, all the way in uh, Australia, to my friends in Michigan, to my friends in Canada, and uh, all around the country. And uh, it's fun to see the map of all the places that download the show, especially from the exposure I got from doing pod quiz. Maybe you found me from listening to James in the UK and you said, oh, I'll check this guy out. I did a guest round on 90s pop culture on his show a couple weeks ago, and my numbers shot up quite a bit. So if you're from pod quiz, thanks for listening. You can hit subscribe for new episodes on your device every single day. And today we're going to be doing 11 questions on horses and horse related things. This was a live trivia round I did last week, and I'm just going to read the questions to you and you can write down the answers. If you want some official trivia with Bud's answer sheet pads that is available in uh, one of the rewards tiers over on patreon.com slash trivia with Bud's. If you're brand new to the show and you want to donate a buck or more, you can get all kinds of cool stuff. And in July, we are officially switching a bunch of rewards to new things. So it's a perfect time to jump on board. If you're thinking about uh, supporting the show, you have a few extra bucks per month, and you're like, you know what? I think this is worth, you know, five or ten bucks of my money to listen to this entertainment, this trivia stuff coming at me. Then you can go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and see all the fun stuff. We're gonna have a lot of cool things and some fan picked tiers very soon. And uh, the easiest way to stay in touch with me is over in the Discord app chat. We use this uh, service called Discord that a lot of gamers use. And for a dollar or more, you get access to that chat and you can see what's going on in the world of pop culture from people that love this show and people that love trivia. Uh, If you are looking to come to a live event, go to TriviaWithBuds.com and click on all the location information. You can play bingo and trivia with me at 17 different places around Southern California every single week. So check all that good stuff out. All right, we're going to jump into this episode. It's all about horsing around. It's 11 questions on horse-related things. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. A Trivia with Buds round on horsing around. Answer these horse-based questions questions. Here's number one. Who directed the 2011 Oscar contender War Horse? Question number one, who directed the 2011 Oscar contender War Horse? Question number two, who had a 2013 pop song called Dark Horse featuring Juicy J? Number two, who had the 2013 pop song Dark Horse featuring Juicy J? Number three, Blackjack is the name of a flying horse in what YA novel series by Rick Reardon? Blackjack is the name of a flying horse in what young adult novel series by Rick Reardon? Number three. Question number four, if you're starting a game of chess, what pieces are directly in front of your knight pieces on the board? If you're starting a game of chess, what pieces are directly in front of the knight pieces on the board? Number four. Question number five, Maximus is a white horse found in what Disney film? Number five, Maximus is a white horse found in what Disney film? Question number six, what Seattle rock band had songs called The Funeral, The Great Salt Lake, and Is There a Ghost? Number six, what Seattle rock band had songs called The Funeral, The Great Salt Lake, and Is There a Ghost? Question number seven, video games, Aponia is a horse first found in what Zelda game? Number seven, Aponia is a horse first found in what Zelda game? 
Question number eight, what phrase originated from ball players cramping up? Number eight, what phrase originated from ball players cramping up? And number nine, in what decade did the series Mr. Ed premiere? Number nine, in what decade did Mr. Ed premiere? And number 10, Santa Anita Park in Arcadia, California, famous racetrack, opened in 1934 on what holiday? What holiday did it open? Your bonus question for two points. According to horsenetwork.com, what two presidents embraced horses more than any other U.S. presidents? For two points, according to horsenetwork.com, that seems official, what two presidents embraced horses more than any other U.S. presidents? All right, those are your questions. We'll be right back in just a second with the answers to these horse-related questions. All right, here comes question number one for Horson Around. Who directed the 2011 Oscar contender War Horse? That was, of course, Steven Spielberg. Never saw that movie, but I wanted to because I like horses. Number two, who had a 2013 pop song called Dark Horse featuring Juicy J? That was Katy Perry. Remember her? Katy Perry. She's still around making some hit songs. Swish, swish, bish. Hmm. Number three, Blackjack is the name of a flying horse in what YA novel by Rick Reardon? Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Percy Jackson, never read those books, but I think I saw the first movie and it was uh, a movie. Number four, if you're starting a game of chess and you are uh, looking at your knights, what pieces are directly in front of the knights? Pawns, the whole row of, of pawns on either side of the board are in front of the knights. Number five, Maximus is a white horse found in what Disney film? It is Tangled, Tangled. Number six, what Seattle rock band had songs called The Funeral, The Great Salt Lake, and Is There a Ghost? Band of Horses. I don't think I've heard them. Band of Horses. Number six, I'm more of a Limp Bizkit kind of guy. Number seven, Aponium is a horse first found in what Zelda game? Ocarina of Time. Number seven, Ocarina of Time. I was at a park recently, and I saw a kid playing an ocarina, like leaning on a tree. And I'm like, all right, this is... This is uh, getting a little extreme, if you like Zelda. <laughs> Number eight, what phrase originated What ball uh, from ball players cramping up? Charlie horse. They said that uh, old horses were called Charlies, and they would use these old horses to uh, do different tasks on a baseball field way back in the day. And when uh, they would move, they'd be kind of slow. So uh, if you cramped up and you got this cramp in your leg, they would call you a it would they would call it a Charlie horse in reference to those horses. So that's what I read. Thought that was interesting. Number nine. In what decade did Mr. Ed premiere? The 1950s, late 50s. I think it was 58 to be exact. Number ten. Santa Anita Park in Arcadia, California, opened on Christmas in 19. 19- 34 Christmas Day. And for two points, according to horsenetwork.com, what two presidents embraced horses more than any other U.S. presidents? The answers were Theodore Roosevelt, member of the Rough Riders Cavalry, and Ulysses S. Grant, Ulysses S. Grant, and Theodore Roosevelt. Guys, those are your questions on horse-related trivia. I hope you had fun answering those. I would love to write uh, some more questions based on things you're into. Maybe you love uh, eagles, Or maybe you love bears or some other animal. And you're like, where's the eagle and bear trivia, Ryan? Well, you can make me do it by donating $5 or more. On patreon.com slash trivia with buds, donate $5 or more. And you can pick a topic just like my friend Dan Papalo, who wants to do Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory trivia. Or my friend Jen Wojnar, who wants to do Ben and Jerry's ice cream flavors. I think that'll be a fun episode. Or my friend Luke McKay, who I mentioned in the intro, who wants to do Simpsons episode titles. So little customization for you if you like the show five dollars or more and pick some topics that i will get to if you want to be on the show that may be part of our new rewards tiers in july there may be some sort of guaranteed spot for you if you want to be um, a vocal part of the show on a skype call or in person so that might be coming up next month stay tuned for that And as always, it's time for the question of the day, which has to do with horses and is brought to you by my friends John and Rebecca at fmdesignsinc.com. That's Funky Monkey Designs in San Dimas, California for all your varsity jacket printing and embroidery needs. It's never outsourced. It's done right in San Dimas in the heart of California. And you could check out their website at fmdesignsinc.com. It's also linked in the show notes if you want to check out their work and see about getting something printed today's question of the day is from a disney movie what is the name of the horse in disney's 
Hercules. What is the name of the horse in Disney's Hercules? Send me a tweet at Ryan Buds with your answer on Instagram at Ryan Buds with your answer on any kind of social media with your answer or just email me RyanBuds at gmail.com and you'll be in the running for a prize that I mailed to you. So be on the lookout for that. All right, guys, that is it for today's episode. Thanks so much for listening. And if you want some more uh, entertainment, you can go to facebook.com slash Ryan Buds. And that's my personal page. You can watch a video, which is a podcast of my daughter, Annabelle, and I talking for 20 minutes. We do a Monday morning podcast, and uh, this is our second one we put up. And it's fun. If you have kids, maybe your kids want to watch along. And uh, she says some very interesting and funny stuff. And uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. So go check it out if you like my family. (laughs) All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers. Cheers.